Now let's say if we don't want to create a new field but what we want to do is to change the behavior of existing field for example like in this case we already have an out of the box standard function field here the unique cost and the like cost and let's say when we uh, change the unique cost values then uh, if we want to keep the same behavior that is it will calculate the like cost values but uh, beside from that we also want maximum to do something else let's say arise some value here in the remarks field so um, in order to do that then we will need to uh, extend the existing class associated to this uh, unit cost field so uh, that's what we going to do in this case so first of all we will need to identify the Java class associated to this unit cost field. So I will open the uh, BLI object again in the uh, database configuration application. Then open the uh, unit cost field. then I will need to extend this class so let's say uh, let's go back to Eclipse so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new class and call it fill unit cost okay and then I will have to extend the existing unique cost class. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to extend this thing. So extend. Now what I need to do is I will need to override the action method. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So now in order to preserve the existing functionality, then I will have to call the action method of the uh, super class which is this uh, class so that is the first thing that we need to do so in by doing this then all of the existing calculation will be there and after that what we need to do is uh, it will write something to the remark field let me open it first let's so say what we want to do is uh, when we change the unit cost field, then it will draw the uh, like cost into the remark field as well. So that's what we're going to need to do. So we're going back to Eclipse and we call this, uh, this, we call this, uh, to refer to the old code a little bit. Uh, so let's say we will need to Yep, we can do this. So by doing this then we can get the parent uh, PR line object and then from this we can get the uh, remark field so we can set a value to the remark field so. okay, 
can set it with a value. So let's see. That's it. And now we will need to deploy this code. Okay, so now we got six file copy. And then I will need to associate this new class to our existing unit cost field. So that's what we're gonna do next. Going back to the database configuration application. And now we will need to change this to the new custom. I think I called it PR. Let, let quickly check. I custom RPR and then unit cost view. Yep, and then I'm gonna save it. And then I'm going to apply the change. Now let's uh, quickly to check it to see if our new code works or not. So let's open something. So let's say if we change this to 3000. Mm. Ah, this field doesn't exist. So let me quickly have a look. Why is it doesn't exist? don't know so let's say I will not do something else I'm gonna write just some random number I'm gonna write some some free map based here just to make it easy okay and now I'm gonna deploy the chains and I'm going back to Maximo. Yep. So it is reloading the new class, so it may take a few seconds. Let's go back to our application and let's uh, check our new code. Yep, so we write a new text here to this line. So that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.